All right, it's Barry, and today on Grow It, I'm gonna find out whether more expensive actually means better when it comes to tomato seeds. Now I've tested loads of different ways of feeding tomatoes to see what effect that has on plant growth and tomato production, but what about the most basic fundamental part of growing tomatoes, the seeds themselves? Seed prices vary massively between budget brands, store-owned brands and premium branded seeds, so what better way to see if there's any actual difference between them other than the name that's on the packet than cracking open a load of seed packs and growing them. So I'm going to look at six different packs of tomatoes and for YouTube purposes I'm not endorsed or sponsored or on the pay of any of these companies so I'll be giving honest reviews of all of these seeds. So for the purposes of this test I'm going to be having a look how many seeds are in each pack and the relative value of each pack. I'm going to test the germination rate and then I'm going to grow the strongest seedling from each brand to full size through to autumn and see if there's any difference in the tomato size and the quantity of tomatoes for each brand. So next let's have a look at those tomato packs. So I've decided to go with the most popular variety in the UK, which is Moneymaker. But don't worry if you don't have these varieties in your country or even these brands of seeds, because I'm sure whatever the results are, you'll be able to apply them to your cheaper or more expensive seeds in your country. And I'll be going from the most expensive to the cheapest in order and have a look what we've got in each pack. So first up, we've got the most expensive seeds, and these are from Thompson & Morgan. And this pack came with a recent issue of Garden Answers magazine. And they say on the front that they're worth £2.49 and that the pack contains 50 seeds. So just to make sure that they're telling the truth, I went and looked on Thompson & Morgan's mail order site. And they are £2.49 a pack for 50 seeds. So they are giving away full packs of the seeds in the magazine. So that's nice at least. But it does mean I can add these to the test without spending nearly £2.50 on a pack of tomato seeds, which I definitely wouldn't normally do. And as you can see, I'm just putting 10 seeds of each brand into this little seed tray and I'm putting uh, five in each of the squares, so that's 10 altogether. Next up, we've got a pack of Mr. Fothergill seeds and these come in at slightly cheaper at £2.15 a pack. And these have also got 50 seeds in there, or actually it says enough for 50 plants, but I don't know whether that means that they provided extra seeds to account for non-germinated seeds or are they just saying that there's 50 seeds in there in a fancy way? And I think I've said it before, I like it when they have these little internal packets, like these little foil envelopes, because they're just sealed a bit better. they probably protected from moisture and things a bit better. So I'm guessing that's going to extend the seed life, because I don't really like it when they're just sort of loose inside the packets, you know, in like one of the just standard paper packets, because like all, all the moisture can get in there and everything. It's not a particularly uh, moisture-resistant material, so I do prefer it when they have the little foil packs. And I'm just going to take the word for it on how many seeds are in each of these packets. I'm not going to stand here and count how many is in each one. Next up, at less than half the price per pack of the Mr. Fothergill seeds, we've got Premier Seeds Direct, which are an online retailer in the UK, but they've also sold through Amazon, although I'm not sure if they still are doing. You'll notice that these use basic foil packaging for the seeds, which doesn't bother me at all, but they do also have a range of packs with pictures on if that is important to you. Now, the most important thing with Premier Seeds Direct is that they do most packs of seeds for 99p, and there's tons to choose from. So these Moneymaker seeds cost 99p, and there's 200 seeds in the pack, so they cost half the price for four times as many seeds. These are the first pack to actually provide the plant passport information on the pack as well, which is another plus, because I can quickly see that these seeds originated in China, but as they're tested and cleared by DEFRA, I know that they are safe to grow. I think I get the vast majority of my seeds from Premier Seeds Direct, just because I like the website, but um, I mean, having all these different varieties of seeds that they do for 99p a pack is pretty good as far as seeds go and it means you can get more varieties and loads of different things and not have to spend as much money and the postage is pretty cheap as well I think it's like 89p or something and they're relatively quick so yeah as far as getting all the different varieties I usually go to these now also for 99p a pack I have de Reese's which say they've got an average of 70 seeds per pack and they get points around the plant passport which shows again that these seeds originated in China. I've seen these seeds in a few different places actually, uh, I think I've seen them in Home Bargains, I've seen them in b and I've seen them in the range so maybe it's just like a sort of deal that they do with like discount retailers and like home stores that don't have their own brands maybe, but I think I've seen them for maybe 49p in one of them, might have been B&M, but they were 99p in uh, the range, and I think they might have been 79p or something in home bargains, so they're all charging different prices for them, so I've just got to go with whatever price is on the pack. I've never actually used these before, so it'd be nice to see how they get on. 
at half the price again i've got these wilco own brand seeds which is a hardware store in the uk and these contain 100 seeds per pack again these seeds have the plant passports on the pack and these indicate that they originate in the uk which is a really big plus in terms of the transportation miles I usually end up getting a few different varieties of seeds every year from Wilco's once I've done my big order online and then I've realised that I've forgotten something like I've done it this year with courgettes I had to go to Wilco's for some courgettes because uh, yeah all my seeds came I was like oh I've not ordered any courgettes so I had to go out to Wilco's and get some um, but yeah I usually get like my onion sets from there they're pretty cheap and uh, I usually get my potatoes from there as well all my seed potatoes because I think they're like £2 or £2.50 for a big net full so you can't get, really go wrong with that especially compared to the garden centres because they cost a fortune And finally, the cheapest pack of seeds that I could find in the UK, and these are Discount Supermarket Lidl's own brand seeds for 20p a pack. That's 20p. And these contain 80 seeds in the pack, so if they perform as well as the others, they're like 10 times the price per pack, then these are an absolute bargain. And it's definitely worth keeping an eye out for when they get these in. It's normally in the uh, start of the year, obviously in spring, and they get them on like a big display stand near the front door, like a big cardboard thing and they've got all sorts of different things on there like carrots and beetroots and nasturtiums and i think the 25p a pack are five for a pound so i've just counted them as 20p and i mean looking at these they're, they're, they're a bit weird looking they look a bit like sesame seeds they're a bit darker and a bit smaller than the other types but uh yeah i don't know how that's going to affect them so there we go that's the six type of seeds that i'll be testing let's have a look how they compare in terms of the price per pack and the price per individual seed. First up, we've got Thompson & Morgan at £2.49 for 50 seeds, which is five pence per seed. We've got Mr. Fothergill at 2 for 50 seeds, which is four pence per seed. We've got Premier Seeds Direct at 99p for 200 seeds, which is great value at half a pence per seed. And then we've got the Dere Seeds at 99p per 70 seeds, which is a bit lower value at 1.5 pence per seed. Then we've got the Wilco Brand Seeds at 50 pence per 100 seeds, which is matching the value at Premier Seeds Direct direct at half a pence per seed and then finally we've got little seeds at 20p for a pack of 80 seeds and that comes in at something like 0.0025 pence per seed which means that these are by far the cheapest price per seed with the most expensive Thompson and Morgan seeds coming in at 20 times the price it's also a nice bonus that Mr Fothergill and Wilco both have a germination promise replacement guarantee on the pack itself so if your seeds do fail to germinate you can get another pack for absolutely free and that's always nice so bonus points to them and I'm also going to say well done to Wilco for not only including the seed origin details on the packs but for also sourcing the seeds from the UK it seems mad to get seeds from like the other side of the world when we already have them here and apparently at a price that can be sold for a profit at 50p a pack so well done again to Wilco so here we go, this is the seedlings, 10 days later they've been on the seedling heat mat under the LED grow light and first off we've got the Thompson and Morgan with 4 out of 10 germinated, not very good at all really. Mr Fothergill slightly better, 70% germination and then next up we've got Premier Seed Direct, absolutely amazing, 100% germination, 10 out of 10. Same again, Dury Seeds, 10 out of 10, 100% germination. Next up we've got the worst ones of the bunch which was the Wilco Seeds, they came in with only 2 out of the 10 seeds germinating and then finally the little seeds which did all right middle of the road 60 percent germination which for 20p a pack isn't that bad well that just goes to show that more expensive doesn't necessarily mean better when it comes to these particular brands of tomato seeds do let me know in the comments if you've had similar experience with these or even if you've had the complete opposite experience and everything was absolutely amazing because it'd be really interesting to find out with your growing conditions and the way you grow things if there's any sorts of different results especially if you live in another country where you don't even get these brands it'd be really cool to find out which brands you've got and whether expensive seeds are any better wherever it is that you live don't forget to subscribe to my channel for a new video every tuesday and saturday and of course keep up to date with how all of these seeds get on throughout the year and we'll see if they're any better once they grow to full size and i'll see you next time